ott, ahol még ember fia nem járt. Csak úgy 80 millió ember kb. az elmutat hónapban. Na mindegy, szóval megnézzük, hogy hol forgatják a filmeket, hol van, milyen vászonok, illetve hol vannak most jelen pillanatban is felvételek, meg hogy hol voltak ilyen híresebb felvételek. Úgyhogy én nagyon kíváncsi vagyok, hogy mégis milyen helyszíneket tudunk megpillantani, ugye a kis kocsiból. De hát hála az énekre erre tudok titeket vinni, úgyhogy nem maradtak ki a bulyvos srácok, jöttek velem, úgy, ahogy kell, meg ahogy a rendje van, meg úgy bizony, oda vele van a az, ja. Úgyhogy stúdió túlára fel, srácok! Yeah! Én is tudtam, hogy ilyen menő tudok lenni egy ilyen 3D szemüvegtől. Lehet, hogy nem fog mindenektek átélni, mert mondom, itt 3 d dolgok is lesznek, de igyekszünk. Igyekszünk, srácok. Legfeljebb kunyorogjatok, és hátha összejön. Már itt is velünk fent, a kis kocsikáló legelső kocsiban vagyunk. Ablak vele főleg Antiris Utka mellettem, és szerintem ez brutál jó buli lesz, úgyhogy nézzük is, hogy mi van. So whatever the camera sees that's blue or green, we just add images later using CGI, computer-generated imagery, and post-production, which is the third stage of production. Now you'll notice too, a lot of these sound stages here have what we call a wig-wag light. Uh, to uh, keep your eyes out for one, there's a red light on top of any major city of the world. We can go to Chicago, we can go to New York, San Francisco, or even Baltimore, Maryland, which is what we did in here, Spray Live, sorry, Maddie Bowyer, Jennifer Hudson, and Mary Cuff, Mary on the ground, and Martin Short. It's to build something not made of brick and stone, actually. It's made of plaster, plastic, and plywood. Those are the three major materials. It's much more expensive to build something made of real brick and real stone. Now, this here is London Square. This can be seen as a residential area in London or buildings of parliament. That area was seen as India in the Bindi project. Uh, also the show uh, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Marvel's Agent Carter. Many of these buildings are what we call practical sets. So they have steel infrastructure. So we can do scenes not only outside, we can film inside the set too. Uh, this theater on your left hand side, Taylor Swift, she filmed her music video there, Wildest Dreams. On this very street we're here right now, New York Street, a lot of TV shows filmed here, NCIS, House, Key and Peel, also American Ninja Warrior. They built the obstacle course on this very street, including my co-host, Jimmy Fallon. He's no stranger to New York City. That's where he tapes the Tonight Show. Hey everyone, welcome to New York. I got my start right here in New York on Saturday Night Live. This is actually my old neighborhood. What's got mugged over there? That old woman. I like films that just take you away from your real life and sweep you up and clear you can't literally dance like that. I mean, you're on board the ship and you're sailing to a lost island, you encounter monsters and creatures from, you know, prehistoric times. So I was thrilled when Universal invited me back to Skull Island. It was great to have you along for the ride. Now, we have created this 3D immersive experience, so you're going to have to have your glasses ready. Don't put them on yet. Just put them in your hand because we're about to return to Skull Island. Azt a kurva 
Bunyu ja syć jaj Bunyu! Oh, no, brace yourself. Look at it. Ah! 
Hoppa! Oh, that was way too close. So not exactly a flash flood. That was thousands of gallons of recycled water. Yeah, it was just released from tanks at the top of the hill. Big Fat Liar used that same flash flood starring a band of vines, Paul Giamatti, and Frankie Muniz. Okay, we'll see about that. Hey, guys, funny post! No, I have all three of them. We'll see that. Now, somebody else did a flash flood sequence, too. 1915, our founder, Carl Lindley, during that whole grand opening event, he did one, but unfortunately, the water, then, it got so out of control, it's, it started to flood a major part of the studio, and a lot of people showed up, too. Celebrities, Buffalo Bill Cody, Thomas Edison. Now, right now, we are in one of these oldest sections of our back lot, the set of Six Points, Texas. Many Hollywood Western stars posted on that that very street. Audie Murphy, Clint Eastwood, Kirk Douglas. Now the reason they called it Six Points, during the early 1900s, we built six different streets. Each one had its own Western town. Sheriff's office, saloon, jail cell, bank, everything you need to film a classic Western. And this was during the time when sound was not recorded on film yet. So we could film six different Westerns at the same time, too. Now we are about... Csöndbe kell lenni, mert olyan helyszínre fogunk bemenni, ahol film lesznek. Chanel filmed right here. Please remain seated as a... Uh, uh, oh, wait a minute, guys. Don't worry, this is a slight trimmer. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is it, guys. This might be the big one. Oh, no, car three, look out. Hey, I don't know how you do. Good. That's my buddy out there. His name is George. I've known See him for like George. 20 years. George! 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 Everyone, say George! Ready? One, two, three! George! Oh no! What if we got his name is Steve? Steve! Oh, I'm so bad with names. That's my fault. Sorry, Scott. All right. Here's the thing, guys. Please remain seated as we approach the dock. I think something is definitely out there somewhere. Oh boy. Okay. Here's the thing. There's yellow bait out there in the water. Oh no, he's taking a whole dock. That's not good. Now 
that mechanical shark is similar to the one they used in the 1970s for the movie Jaws, directed by Steven Spielberg. Now, interesting fact, Steven Spielberg can run on ABC. Everyone it's just a portion of the set. It was one of the largest the productions the here the line. They used 11 sound stages. One of them was used oh, just to apply the makeup to all the music. <laughs> He's so innocent, you know, he would not hurt a fly. Uh, whoa. Hold on. Guys, that's very crazy. She was reported missing. You know what, I better... Yeah, we should get out of here before he sees us. I don't... Oh, wait a minute, he did see us. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, hi, Norman. Yeah, we're gonna get out of your hair. We didn't mean to disturb you. Oh, that was way too close. Wow. Oh my god. Straight ahead, we have one of the most colossal sets here on the Universal Lot, War of the Worlds. Directed by Steven Spielberg, starring Tom Cruise. This here is a real 747 Boeing aircraft. Everything around you, over 100 tons of debris, systematically placed to make it look like a real crash site. And here's your opportunity to stand up if you'd like to take photos. We're going to stop temporarily. I'm going to show you uh, Steven Spielberg as well as the production designer, Rick Carter. We're going to explain how this entire set was designed. Airplane crash site set is a perfect example of a set that is all designed around a vision that Stephen had. When we first began, we sat down and talked about the world. I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in the neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. What you doing? Thank you. That's me. That's me. Listen, I want you to close your eyes, okay? Got them closed? Bobby, get in. Get in. Now, what's really interesting about that scene, it never shows the airplane actually. Now, we did have a real aircraft parked right out front there. And the buildings in the background were in littered using digital technology. We filmed other productions there over the years, like the movie Bruce Almighty, uh, the walking underwater scene, uh, Jim Carrey. Uh, we also did there for the movie, and he punctured a hole in the wall. That was done right here, too. Now, it looks like, guys, we might have to do a slight detour. Uh, there's someone on our tram from the Federal Witness Protection Program. Yeah, yeah, uh, we have to hide from someone very dangerous. His name is Owen Shaw. But don't worry, we're just going to uh, just hang out here in this three racer hangout spot for just a second. Let's all stick together. Let's all remain in our seats as we approach this area. Wow. Uh -huh. Check out these rides to the left. Do you see anybody in here? I don't see anyone. Hello? Hello? My name is Roman Pierce. Oh. Pleased to meet you. Buddy Hobbs asked us to stash you in Shaw for a while. So we brought you in our secret spot. We're having a few friends over. It's a little messy, but it's all good. The more the merry. Especially you right there in that third row. I help us say. So look, see over there? It's Hobbs' urban assault vehicle. Best truck the U.S. government can buy. But that work of art back over there is made by my man Tej. Think of it as like a Mona Lisa on wheels. Extra fun. So did you break it down to them? What's that? You had one job to do, Roman. One. All right, look, guys. We're going to keep Shaw from finding you. But to keep you safe, we need your help. We don't want the syndicate tracking us here. So put away your cameras and turn off your cell phones. One flash or one ringtone could give us away. I need y'all to take this real serious. Okay, pull into the next bay and we'll meet you in there. All right, everyone, we're going to head in right now. The doors are opening. I hear music. Do you hear that? All right, that music sounds like dance music, like party music. Is that, does that mean there's a party happening? Yes, there's a real party happening right now. Everybody go. Oh, oh. Yes, 
Köszönöm szépen, hogy megnéztetek ezt a videót, remélem, hogy jól szórakoztatok. Tudom, hogy kevés vágás volt már minden, de mint a videó elején is láttátok a felírásból, hogy szerettem volna, hogy az élmény ez teljesen átjön, hogy mégis milyen volt körbe utazni igazából az egész stúdiót. Nagyon szépen köszönöm, hogy megnéztétek, ha tetszett, akkor dobjatok rá egy lájkot, hamarosan jön a harmadik rész, amiben újabb hullámvasutak és újabb élmények várnak ránk. 
Köszönöm szépen a csatornatagoknak, hogy egyre jobban bővülünk, már több mint tizen vagyunk. Értek, köszönöm szépen a Twitch-en is a feliratkozókat. Mindenkinek buszen dárjé, nem sokára jön a következő rész. Sziasztok! A következő videóban meg fogjuk nézni mégis milyen volt a Water World. Mindenkinek további osztókodást itt a Youtube-on, vagy gyertek a streamekre. Sziasztok!